This week, we are drawing particular attention to the issue of domestic violence ahead of Saturday night's Girls' Night Out event. One element that is often overlooked is domestic violence directed at men. But as 13 News reporter Shannon Litton explains, there's help for them, too. People tend to think of Mel as being tough, just being able to take care of things themselves and not needing help as much. Trish Miles is a counselor at Resolve in Charleston. She has 10 years of experience working with domestic violence victims and survivors from all walks of life. At a time when women are considered the most likely victims of domestic violence, she says male victims are frequently overlooked or even ignored. How do we stop making this a taboo subject to talk about when it comes to men? More education. And by that she means empowering men to speak out and telling them it's okay to come forward with their stories. Nearly half of all women and men in the United States have experienced psychological aggression by an intimate partner in their lifetime. And it's no secret that more women are victims to physical abuse. With men, advocates and counselors say the abuse is primarily psychological. That doesn't mean men can't be physically abused. According to the National Domestic Violence Hotline, one in 10 men in this country will be physically attacked or stalked this year by an intimate partner, while one in seven over the age of 18 will be the victim of severe physical violence by a partner. Still, for most men, the problem is mental abuse. Name calling, belittling, um, making their self-esteem very low, making them think that they're not worth anything. Usually with men, it's um, more they use the kids against them. Um, it's more of like the mental abuse and stuff and sometimes it is physical. Go tell mommy that if she doesn't do this that this is going to happen or go tell daddy that if he doesn't do this that this is going to happen. But the one thing both men and women share in common when it comes to domestic violence is the struggle of breaking the cycle of abuse. Something as simple as picking up the phone. Seek help. Call the YWCA. We have counseling. We have support groups. We have we can develop a safety plan. In Huntington, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. And we want to remind you, if you've experienced domestic violence, there are services available no matter who you are. As you just heard there, the YWCA has resources for everyone. And we have a link to those resources. Go to our website, wwktv.com backslash raise up your voice. And while you're there, we hope that you will also click on and get tickets to join us for Girls Night Out this Saturday night because desperate funds are raised that they need to run so many of these programs that will continue to help people across the tri-state.